Colombia's former finance minister, Oscar Ivan Zuluaga, was victorious on Sunday's presidential elections, taking 29.25 percent of the vote against 25.68 percent of incumbent President Juan Manuel Santos. Now the two will face off in a runoff. El próximo 15 de junio. In a few days, we're going to decide if we want more of the same or if we want to change Colombia for the better, if we want to continue with a country that is more insecure or if we want to build a country with more security, confronting terrorism and drug trafficking. President Juan Manuel Santos congratulated the Zuluaga campaign for the win and challenged him to debates in the weeks leading up to the runoff. Santos presents himself as the candidate of peace, who is trying to end 50 years of armed conflict through negotiations in Havana with the rebel group Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, also known as FARC. Vamos a demostrar. We will show that we are determined to end a half-century-old conflict of pain and blood, that you can bet on us for an inclusive country, a modern country, a united country, and a country without war. Zuluaga has said if he is elected president, he will provisionally suspend talks in Havana until FARC agrees to a unilateral ceasefire. Colombians are just as divided as the candidates on what is needed to achieve peace in the future. The people are tired of giving the FARC prebendas after all human rights violations they have committed, all the humiliation they've put us through. I would like Santos to continue to give us what he promised a peace process. Peace is reached through opportunities, because the violence that we have is due to lack of opportunities, lack of education, and lack of housing for the people. Now, while many Colombians voice different op opinions on the peace process, there are also indications of wide-scale voter apathy. A full 60 percent of Colombian registered voters decided not to go out to vote on Sunday. Now, this is the lowest voter turnout in at least 20 years. Back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Michelle Bege, live in Bogota.